Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss excretory system. Dear students, excretory system or protonephridial system of fasciola hepatica, the liver flow. And that excretory system having two parts, the flame cells, and the second component of this system, this longitudinal excretory canal or it is named bladder. Dear students, in excretory system of fasciola, two main components, the flame cells and longitudinal excretory canal or it is bladder. First of all, we will discuss the flame cells. The flame cells also named flame bulbs. Dear students, protonephridia or these are solenocytes. The flame cells, these are arranged in a specific manner throughout the body of liver flock. That is called flame cell pattern. Each flame cell having numerous cytoplasmic, irregular, branched, pseudopodial, process. These are named cytoplasmic process and the cell cytoplasm consists of a row of basal granules and these basal granules give rise a bundle of cilia which is present in the lumen in the cavity of this flame cell. The beating of cilia gives an appearance of flame of a candle. That's why these are named flame cells. In this cell cytoplasm, a large oval shaped nucleus and these fine excretory globules are present. And these excretory globules store the main excretory products. And these substances are fatty acids, ammonia, CO2, toxins etc next component of this excretory system that is longitudinal excretory canal or bladder look here in this diagram this is the specific arrangement of flame cells throughout the body and this one the second component it is longitudinal excretory canal or bladder the flame cells that these flame cells open into the excretory capillaries and these excretory capillaries join larger collecting tubules. The collecting tubules and excretory capillaries or capillary ducts collectively constitute excretory twigs and these excretory twigs further join large sized excretory vessels and excretory trunk. In this anterior region, note down, one, two, three, four, four excretory trunks in anterior region. Dear students, out of these four, two, right, left, two are ventral excretory trunks and one, two, right, left, dorsal excretory trunk. It means in this anterior region, four, one, two, three, four, two ventral, two dorsal excretory trunks, which unite behind this posterior sucker. And they open, all these anterior excretory trunks open in this longitudinal excretory canal or bladder. And this bladder in posterior region, it receives numerous posterior excretory trunks and this bladder finally opens out by a small aperture that is excretory pore or it is nephridiopore. Dear students, in today's lecture, we are discussing the excretory system and the main component of this excretory system 
these flame cells, special type of cells, specific arrangement throughout the body and all these flame cells having bundle of cilia, a tuft of cilia and that bundle of cilia lies in the lumen of each flame cell which gives an appearance of a flame of candle. That's why these are named flame cells. And these cytoplasmic process of each flame cell which receives, which collect the excretive substance is present in this special type of tissue that is parenchyma or mesenchyma which is mesodermal in origin and from that parenchymal tissue these cytoplasmic process which collect excretory substances like ammonia because the animal is ammonotelic dear students in physiology of this entire system or flame cells the main excretory product, the substances and the main excretory product is ammonia. The animal is ammonotelic as well as other waste substances are fatty acids, CO2, toxins. All these substances from the parenchymal tissue or the mesenchymal tissue are collected, reabsorbed through these cytoplasmic process the mechanism is ultra filtration and in these flame cells the primary urine is formed and that primary urine consists of fatty acids ammonia co2 ions water and some useful substances like sugar amino acids. Dear students, the primary urine is produced by these flame cells. From the primary urine, the useful substances are reabsorbed by the capillaries. These excretory capillaries as well as collecting tubules, they reabsorb the useful substances like amino acids like sugars, water, ions and the final urine so formed in this excretory system that is passed, that is removed through this excretory pore or nephridia pore. Dear students, this is all about the mechanism of excretory system in liver flow having two components, the main component of this excretory system are flame cells, protonephridia, solenocytes or flame bulbs. And the second main component of this system is longitudinal canal. Physiology very clear, these flame cells are excretory and osmoregulatory in function. And these flame cells having cytoplasmic process which by ultrafiltration collect the waste substances from the body tissue, the body fluid, that is parenchyma, mesenchyma, from that mesenchyma, pro mesenchyma. These substances like fatty acids, CO2, ammonia are collected and in these flame cells primary urine is formed. From that primary urine, the useful substances like sugars and amino acids are reabsorbed here in capillaries and collecting tubules. And the final urine so formed in this excretory system is removed through excretory pore. Dear students, in tomorrow's lecture, we will discuss nervous system and reproductive system. Thank you.